Thank you, Jesus. Speaking to come on in. Any God bless you. I see you coming on. Father, we bless your name. We exalt you. We adore you. We give you all the praise and all the honor. Mighty God, El Shaddai, El Gebor. Adonai, Reze de Bekenia Valadosa. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to come on in. Begin to come on in. And as you come on, begin to bless the name of the Lord with me. Let me know where you are watching from and where you're connecting from as well in the name of Jesus. I'm super excited to be here. This is the last day of the month of, of September, the last day of the month of August. And I'm so excited that we get ready to enter into the month of September. And I'm super excited for all the testimonies, all the tangible results that we get ready to see in the month of September. Is anybody that is here today that is expectant? You say, I'm ready for results. I'm ready for testimonies. I'm ready for answers. I'm ready for God to do something great and God to do something big in my life in the name of Jesus. How many of you are ready and how many of you are excited? Thank you, Jesus. Let me see your thumbs up in the comment section if you're ready and if you're excited. Thank you, Jesus. I was here earlier on in the morning and I given, a, I given an instruction to so, to a couple of people that were able to do it in the morning to say, write your prayer requests down and send them to me via email. And I'm so excited that I got a couple of emails. I, I got a couple of requests that we're going to be praying over as well today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Zanele. Thank you, Jesus. I have your request here. Thank you, Jesus. I have, I, I, I have a lot, quite quite a lot, quite a lot. And some people didn't quite get the instruction. They were sending the request in an email format, which is okay. I'm so excited that we get ready to pray together and hear what the Lord has to say for the month of September. I see South Africa is in the house. Kenya is in the house. God bless you. As you're coming on, just let me know where you are watching from. And thank you, Jesus. And where your connection from as well. In the name of Jesus. You see, I, I got a lot. I got a lot of requests that we're going to go through. But let us just, you know, let us just thank God for this month of September. This month of September that is about to come on. God bless you, Mick. I see you coming on. Zambia is in the house. Nelly, God bless you. Nana Adoa, I hope I'm saying your name right. God bless you. All the way from Ghana, I see Ethiopia connected right there on YouTube. Laba Sotele Bahaya. Thank you, Jesus. So please quickly power it up on your screen and press on the share button. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. We honor your name. We exalt you. We adore you. We thank you for you are great and mighty. We thank you for we have no other gods beside you. We have no other master beside you. We have no other king. We have no other restorer. You are Rabadia Zatalama. You are great and mighty. You are the king of kings and lord of lords. And Heavenly Father, I thank you for every person that is under the sound of my voice today. I thank you for we are ending this month of August with a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your grace to be able to see this day. We thank you for the grace to be able to see this month of to see this month of August in the name of Jesus. As you're coming on, just begin to thank the Lord with me and say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Rabba Satelamaya, God bless you, Diamond. Come on, just open the comment section. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for I'm able to be here today. I thank you that you carried me through every storm. You carried me through the tears. You carried me through my fears. God, you are present from the beginning until the end. I thank you for you remain God and you remain King. Riba Sotelamaya. 
Come on, somebody, begin to give God all the praise and all the honor. Laba Satelamaya, the children of Israel say in the word, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, they could have destroyed us. They could have killed us, but we are grateful that by the grace of the Lord, we are here. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody tap on your skin and share. I say, Lord, I thank you because it's by your grace and through your amazing grace that I'm able to see this day today in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare over everybody under the sound of my voice that in this month, Kaya Hasa, in this month of September that we just about to start may the Lord show himself in your life may the Lord prove his greatness his goodness and his mercies in your life in the name of Jesus I decree and declare now but the reason of the anointing that is upon my head that whatever plan of the enemy that he had concerning your lives every plan of the enemy concerning your children every plan of the enemy concerning your family over the month of September we we decree and declare that it is cancelled and it is broken in the name of Jesus. I speak it to your September. Every snare and every trap and every pit, let the Lord cover it up in the name of Jesus. Come with somebody, power tap on your screen and shape. You say God cancel the plans of the enemy. You say God put an end to every plan of the enemy. Lord, put an end to my season of tears and my season of shame. Let it come to an end in the name of Jesus. Rabba setele bahaya, mando rabba seta. You say, God, let it come to an end in the name of Jesus. Everything the enemy has said, everything the enemy has written concerning my life, concerning my children, concerning my family, concerning my finances. Lord, let it end in the name of Jesus. Lord, close it up. Alabasata, you say God, close it up in the name of Jesus. If there is any wicked door that the enemy has opened, if there is any wicked door that the enemy has prepared, as we pray tonight, we declare, may the Lord close it up. Yes, open up your mouth in prayer and say, God, close it up in the name of Jesus. Every open door that the Lord did not open, every connection that the Lord did not grant you, as we pray tonight, we close it up in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, power tap on your skin and shame. I want you to understand this. The enemy is waiting. From for every beginning of a season because whenever a new season begins we start a new season with expectations whenever a new month begins we start the new month believing and trusting God to work miracles in our lives but there is one thing about the enemy he goes ahead and begins to set traps the enemy goes ahead and begins to make his own plans about the plans of God the enemy goes ahead of you and begins to speak some things that will work against Sure. But I decree and declare now in the name of Jesus over everybody connected, uh, every plan of the enemy concerning the month of September, we cancel in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth in prayer and say, Lord, block it. Let it be blocked and let it be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Any plan of the enemy, concerning the month of September, any plan of the enemy, any spoken curse concerning the month of September, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord cancel and may the Lord destroy it in the name of Jesus Rabba Sheke Dosa Mandere Bebe Konda Labahaya Ikanda Rabba Sata Ikanda Rabba Dosa Ele Derebe Dosa Mazaka Dabayata Ela Barazuta Ebare Debe Konda Mazate Lebayata Ikanda Rabba Sota Mezuka Rabba Dosa Ele Debe Kosa Anda Lababasaya Ikanda Rabba Suta Labahaya 
Come with somebody power up on your skin and share. You say, Lord, block it uh, and Lord, cancel it uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every spoken word uh, against my life, uh, any spoken word uh, against my future, any spoken word, uh, in the month of September, let it be blocked uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let it be canceled uh, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Ota, Yababa Sota. I want you to pray this prayer and say, I deny, I Sata, I deny, I reject, I refuse to fall to the plans of the enemy. I reject, I deny, and I denounce any words spoken upon my life. I denounce every curse word upon my finances. I deny, and I deny. Announce uh, any evil covenant uh, that raised against me uh, is a prayer tonight. Uh, let it be cancelled uh, in Soto Bayata. Uh, let it be cancelled uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let it be cancelled. Uh, let it be cancelled uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let it be blocked uh, and let it be cancelled uh, in the name of Jesus. Rebecca Dosa and Lika Rabatosa. Higher. Somebody power up on your skin and share. There is something that the Bible says. Uh, it says resist the devil and the devil will flee. Am I speaking something right now? It says resist. Another word is say deny him. There's some things that you have to deny. There's some things that you have to go against by yourself. Man, of you under the sound of my voice, things have just been happening randomly in your life and you have nothing to say about it. We must speak it to right now. You've been dealing with so much pain and you said nothing. They came and destroyed your marriage and you said nothing. They raised altars against you and you said nothing. There is somebody at your workplace that decided to lie and you said nothing. But I want you to pray tonight. It's so caraba and begin to deny and begin to denounce and begin to cancel the plans of the enemy concerning your life are you there it says resist deny and denounce that's what we're gonna do now am I speaking to someone right now resist deny and denounce any spoken word against your life against your family and against your august against your september 2024 deny reject and denounce Yerebebe soldier, deny, reject, and denounce. I am a sata. You say, I refuse. I refuse to be the less. I refuse to be the. I refuse to be the black sheep. I refuse to be called nothing. I refuse to be called worthless. I denounce. I, am I communicating right now? Power tap on your skin and shame. The Lord is ministering to with to me today. How many of you are praying and fasting? Power tap on your screen and see. How many of you are praying and fasting? Power tap on your screen and see. The Spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. Can I see your hand emoji in the comment section? God bless you, Chantel. I see you right there. God bless you, Mick. I see you right there. And the Spirit of the Lord began to minister to me about a certain time when God sent a prophet to make an announcement and to put an end to the season of drought in the land. The Spirit of the Lord came upon Elisha. And the Bible says Elisha was sent on an assignment to go and speak an end to the ferment in Samaria. Everybody else in the land of Samaria had to go to the season of famine. But even though they all had to go to the season of famine, the season had to go to, to come to an end in the same land. So the Lord began to give Elisha an announcement. And Elisha rose up and began to declare a word. The book of 2 Kings 7 verse number 1. Elisha rose up and said, Hear the word of the Lord. 
that say the Lord tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria and the Bible says in verse number 2 then the Lord on knows right hand the king leaned and said the man of God and said behold if the Lord would make the windows of heaven open even though the Lord will make the windows of heaven open this thing will not happen and the Bible says then Elisha said to him you shall see it with your eyes but you shall not see but you shall not eat thereof and the Lord began to say, began to minister to me and say, so many of you are in a place that whenever a word is spoken upon your life, because of some spirits that rest upon you, instead of tapping into the word and into the will of God, you deny it. But it becomes so easy. Whenever a wicked word is said upon your life, you say nothing. And I begin to ask the Holy Spirit and say, how is it whenever somebody is intimidated by the enemy, it's so easy for them to accept. But when a blessing is released, it seems like there is a form of resistance. Many of you under the sound of my voice, the enemy has come against you in a way that you begin to doubt what God wants to do in your life. But it's easy to believe and it's easy to fall for the lives of the enemy. And Elijah began to prophesy and Elijah declared the word and he said, that's said the Lord, this is going to happen. But there is a man that is unprovoked. <laughs> There is one man that was unprovoked that rose up and began to challenge the word of the prophet. Ayarabasata. And he said to the prophet, even though the windows of heaven will open, the sting will not happen. Can I speak to somebody watching me right now? There is an enemy in your life that rose up and provoked. When God released a blessing in your life, that rose up and said it will not happen. Somebody power up on your skin is here. Can I say this word to somebody? Uh, the Bible say the one that said close to the king. Uh, he rose up and said it will not happen. Uh, can I prophesy over some right now? The Lord say it's about to be your season. Uh, your season of testimonies. Uh, the month of September. God says it's about to be a month. Uh, our month of tangible results. Uh, and I prophesy and declare over everybody connected uh, that you will not miss the blessing in the name of Jesus come with somebody we must speak it to you right now I don't know your current situation I don't know your current position I don't know the things you're dealing with but I decree and declare now in the name of Jesus everything that God said is gonna do everything that God said you're gonna receive in the month of September you will not miss it in the name of Jesus come with somebody you gotta receive it now Many of you, you are in your season of answers. Many of you, you're in your season of breakthrough. But there is an enemy behind the scene that is saying otherwise. I'm only seeing 42 shares and we got 300 people watching. I'm seeing 42 people on YouTube and only four likes. Please make sure you tap and like on YouTube. The Lord began to minister to me and says, I want you to deny I want you to go and resist. And the Lord says, I want you to go ahead as you pray today and block any other voice that is contrary to the word of God in your life. Are you there? Many of you are in a place that you, you're busy asking God, why is it that you gave me a promise but I don't see the results yet? There is somebody that is speaking some things behind the scenes there is somebody unprovoked that just made a decision in the minds to say that no matter how much you work things will not change in your life there is somebody that you did not even offend there is somebody that you don't even know the background that don't even know your background they don't even know your well-being but one thing they know is that they are the Messiah one thing they know is that they don't want anything good in your life 
Am I communicating tonight? One thing your enemy know, and it's one thing for sure, is that no matter what you do, that want to see change in your life. The men had no reason to go against the word of the prophet, but the men stood up and said no. Somebody powered up on your skin and shame. The men had no reason, and the men had no excuse as to why you could go against the word that the prophet has said, but the men said it anyway. I want somebody to power tap on your screen and shame. Many of you got people that had no reason to attack you, but you were attacked anyway. They had no reason to block you. They had no reason to speak against your marriage, but they did it anyway. Can I get somebody under the sound of my voice that say they hated me anyway, that blocked me anyway. I did not offend anybody. I did not have any argument with anybody. The only thing that happened is God gave me a, God gave me a word, but they blocked me anyway. The Bible said that God sent Elisha to go release a word and a decree. And the prophet is busy prophesying and those that already began to receive but just one person said no. I will tap on your screen is here. Tonight I'm looking for those people that say I've been blocked anyway. They rejected me anyway. I submitted all my documents. I am qualified enough for that job. But they rejected me anyway. I was supposed to be married. I was supposed to be in business. But I was blocked and denied. Can I pray with someone right now that says it happened anyway? The Lord sees Samaria. And the Lord hears the cry of Samaria. But regardless of the pain and the tears, one person, one per I want you to, to get this part. The Holy Spirit ministered to me, he said, unprovoked. Unprovoked. He had no reason to speak. He had no reason to doubt. But he spoke unprovoked. How would you your skin is here? Many of you are still in a place where you're busy asking questions. God, why would you allow it to do? Do you know that people, they don't even need to know you by name. They don't even need to, to have any issue with you. The only thing they do is see you and hate you. The only thing that they need to do is see your name and curse you. Rabbi Shatel Mahaya. Somebody powered up on your screen and say, Yadabe Sotel Mahaya. So many of you have been in your season of drought. You've been in your season of pain. You've been in your season of shame. And whenever a blessing is about to release in your life, there is always an enemy that comes and blocks you. Have you ever wondered why said that God will give you a promise? You wait and wait and wait, but yet nothing happens. Have you ever wondered why said that you remain in the same place no matter how much you work? No matter how much you pray, you remain in the same position. How it happened your skin is she? I'm hearing the Lord say some of you that are connected right now. You keep on having dreams of attacks. You're being attacked by people that you don't even know. You try to look carefully, but you don't even know the faces of the people attacking you. You don't even know the names. You don't even, you've never seen them before. Man of you under the sound of my voice, you've been in a place that every time you, you, you lay down, I'm speaking in your dreams, there is somebody that comes and pushes you. And you look around, you turn to us, but who is that person? I don't even know this face. Do you know that one person can speak disaster in the whole generation and provoked? Do you know that there is somebody that can just stand and make a decision that things do not work in your life no matter what you do? Power tap on your skin and shame. We are in the month of September, October, November. December is about to come. The year 2024 is about to end. But yet you look in your life, is everything uncompleted? Let me use that word. God bless you, Rosie. Everything is uncompleted. 
You had the grace to set a project. You had the grace to be in business. But when you look at from January, everything is uncompleted. Power tap on your screen and see. The Bible sends Elisha to go prophesy the end of the famine. In the very place where we saw the amount of pain there was. The amount of struggle in the land. What the Bible said, the king had to tear off his clothes and wear set clothes because of the famine. Do you know the same marriage that you're crying over? The same business you're crying over day in and day out? The same relationship you're crying for day in and day out? Somebody is still speaking against your blessing. So many of you are in a place of building. You look back and say, God, I've been working. You look back and say, God, I've been suffering. The very thing you are suffering for, the very thing that God is about to bless, somebody is blocking the blessing. Because about say the man that said to the king, he said, even though the windows of heaven are open, <laughs> this thing will not happen. How many of you under the sound of my voice, you got people that stood and said, God forbid. Sometimes you don't see them, but you don't know them by name. Sometimes you don't even, you don't even understand their intentions. But they say some words against you. And provoked. Can somebody drop in the comment section? And provoked for no reason. For no reason. Tonight I'm, I'm not talking about people that hate you because they're jealous. I'm not talking about people that are on an assignment. I'm not talking people that are. I'm talking about. I'm not talking about people that are paid. I'm talking about people that operate and provoke. And provoke. Nobody provoke them, but they speak anyway. Yarabasaya, power tap on your skin and see. Many of you got people that are speaking over your head. You got people speaking over your destinies. You got people that have spoken over your whole generation and provoked. The devil is a liar. Do you know how much it feels to be in a place that you're trusting God for a breakthrough? You're trusting God for order. You're trusting God for a miracle. If somebody out of nowhere comes and blocks, block that word. One thing that I need somebody to understand right now. Whenever somebody goes against the word that God has given you, the person is not just going against you, but that person is going under the word and the authority of God in your life. Many of you don't even understand that when you speak of spiritual warfare, it's not just about you. But do you know they are kingdoms? Do you know their systems? Do you know that they are individuals that will see you praying, that will see you fasting like today, and still they challenge you during the night? How many of you have been in a place that during the day you're praying and fasting and you're worshiping? But the moment you close your eyes, there is an attack. And provoked. Do you know that whenever God gives you a word, there's so many ears that are listening. Elisha is given a word to release the word to the king. But because the servant of the king was present, he was able to hear the word. And when he heard the word, he decided to speak against that word. Many of you under the sound of my voice, the reason why you're going through so much downfalls, love one, I'm praying for you. The reason why you go through so much downfall, there is somebody that heard information that was not meant for them. God bless you for the gifts. There is somebody that understands something about you that they were not supposed to understand. Power tap on your screen and see. 
Many of you, you get so excited when you, you know, when God gives you a word and a promise, and you know, you're so excited because it's a word coming from God. But there is somebody that watches and monitors and listens. One thing you need to understand that you have no control of what somebody does with the information they receive. You have no control of the words that will come out of somebody else's mouth. Many of you, the people that you thought they were going to be excited with you. Many of you got people that you thought were going to be happy for you. And you had no idea that the moment you turn your back, that person will speak against you. Power tap on your skin and shame. Many of you under the sound of my voice, you had no idea that the person you're sharing the good news with, you had no idea that they were your enemies. You had no idea. The man is close to the king. The man knows the situation of the land. The man is also being a victim of the famine. It doesn't matter how it affected him. It doesn't matter how it affected his family. What mattered in that moment was his own thoughts and his own emotions. Are you there? There's some people that are connected right now. The person that spoke a curse upon your life is your own parent. The person that spoke a curse upon your life is your own husband. That the person even forgot that you know you're the mother of the kids that don't even care as long as they speak they don't even care power tap on your skin and she they don't even care that they're introducing a generational curse in the bloodline they don't care as long as they speak and the Lord say, I want us to pray today and denounce some spoken words of our lives. I'm glad that God is not a man. If God was a man, he could have went, gone back on his word. But God is not a man. I want us to pray because there's so many people that have been undermining the power of God. There's so many people that have been undermining the grace of God. Because when this man is challenging the word that Elisha said, he's not just challenging Elisha. In other words, the man is saying, your God cannot do it. The man literally said to Elisha, even if the windows of heaven were to open, it will not happen. How it's up on your skin and she. Do you know every time you, you, you make a decision to say, you know what, I don't want to pray anymore. You're actually telling the enemy that you know what, you're true. You're correct, God cannot work in my life. That's what the Holy Spirit ministered to me. Every time you make a decision to quit, every time you can make a decision to say, you know what, I'm not going to pray anymore. It's like you're telling the enemy, you're right. Come and tap on your skin and shape. How many things have you had to watch the enemy carry and walk away with? Let me just talk of the month of August. How many doors did you just witness the enemy closing? And you just said, it's okay. It's okay, it's all right. Maybe another door is going to open. It's okay. You see the way that I'm speaking. That, that's how some of you take life, you know. It's okay. Okay. It's fine. Every time the enemy attacks you in the dreams, you just wake up and say, it is well. It is well. Yet there is somebody day in and day out 
that is busy raising constant altars against you. The people that are raising, they're raising altars, making sacrifices, and there you are, it is well. You know, there is a part of the scripture that say, say to the righteous, it shall be well, not it is well. Are you there? Because if I come and tell you that it is well when you're going through spiritual attack, then you're going to go back and sit. Power tap on your screen and she. Am I communicated tonight? I'm going to come in and say, you know what, guys? God say that things are going to be okay in our lives. So you don't need to worry. You don't need to cry. It's okay. Power tap on your screen and she. How many times have you could have yet? The enemy is not resting. There is no peace for the enemy. The Bible says he's walking like a lion, seeking for who you may devour. And men have just, are just saying it is well. It is well. The marriage is a mess. It is well. But what's up on your screen is she? Yet we are fighting against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this world. We are living in a time and a dispensation where the witches are no longer hiding. You may be hiding your you may be hiding your relationship with God, you may be hiding your prayer life, you may be hiding the scriptures, but the enemy is no longer hiding. That's one thing I need you to understand today. The enemy is no longer hiding. The enemy is not even shaken and is not even moved. Power tap on your screen is she. The Bible says that Jesus began to speak of the things that were to come in his life. And the Bible says immediately, Peter said, God forbid. <laughs> are you there? We are in the Old Testament in the book of 2 Kings. And the Bible says that the, the servant of the kings rose up and said, it will not happen. And now go ahead, we see. Thank you, Jesus. Now we look and we see Peter. And looks at Jesus and says, God forbid. How many of you under the sound of my voice? You were in your season of, of, of celebration. You were in your season of answers. In your season of breakthrough and change. But the enemy said, God forbid. One thing the enemy is afraid of is the change and the transition that comes with the prophecy. Come on, somebody. Am I communicating right now? Prophecy is not just prophecy. Blessings are not just blessings. Declarations are not just declarations. There is a changer and there is a transition that is about to happen in your life. So when you get close to the change, when you get close to the transition, the enemy says, God forbid. It's okay when you suffer. It's okay when you live as a beggar. It's okay when you live as broke. But when a break is about to release, the enemy says, God forbid. Are you there? The boss said the men began to laugh. And say even, 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 even if the windows of heavens were to open, this thing will not happen. I want us to pray today. <laughs> I want us to pray today. The very thing that the enemy said it will not happen. In this month of September, it will come to pass in the name of Jesus. The very door that the enemy blocked, the very door that the enemy closed, as we pray tonight, that door is going to open in the name of Jesus. I don't know who I'm speaking to right now, but I'm looking for somebody that say as I pray today, things have to change. There has to be transformation. There has to be a breakthrough. There has to be a miracle. As I pray today, the heavens have to open.
<laughs> the Bible says Elisha said, but this time tomorrow, he cut up a set up a measure of flour and barley shall be sold up for just a shekel. Elisha began to prophesy and says, I'm not just speaking up, but the words I'm speaking up, they will come to pass uh, and they will happen now. Uh, can I pray with someone tonight uh, that says every spoken word uh, against my life, uh, every spoken word against my destiny every spoken word against my generation let it be cancelled you say that word has to be cancelled I'm looking for someone right now that says I have cried enough anybody that says I have suffered enough I have enjoyed enough Things have been dry for long enough. Uh, let that word be cancelled. In the name of Jesus. So many of you have been in the same situation longer than what God has sent over your life. I feel the spirit of the Lord moving. Many of you are still living in the single life when the marriage has already been announced and declared. The devil is a liar. How it's up on your screen is she? Lakura basota la mahaya. Month in and month out. And things remain the same. Are you ready for us to pray tonight? Lakura biasata la mahaya. They are angels that are already moving in this place. I'm looking for someone that says enough is enough. I'm looking for someone that says that the famine has to end. The drought has to end. The pain is to end, the sickness is to end, and the shame is to end. Whether the enemy likes it or not, in Suta Labayata, whether the witches like it or not, the struggle has to end. Whether my friends like it or not, the drought is to end. My tears have to dry up. I'm looking for someone that says enough is enough. Get thee behind me, Satan. Enough is enough. My story has to change. Somebody power tap on your skin and shape. Lepa kona mazata la bahaya. Letika rabadosa meyanda rabahasa. Leta pekonda la bahasa. The Lord tonight is addressing every overdue situation. The Lord says I'm addressing every prolonged situation. The Lord says I'm dealing with, with everything that is overstayed in your life. So many of you have been praying for answers. And God released the answer, but the enemy said no. As we pray this prayer now, I want you to challenge everything that has been fighting against you. I want you to take this prayer personal. Are you there? Because one thing we know about God, God will never fail. One thing we know about God, He will never bow to the enemy. One thing I know about God, I must say that God is not a man that he should lie. How can you be in a place that when a blessing is released in your life, the blessing does not happen. But when a witch that is in training just shakes you a bit in the dreams, you wake up and you're scared. Power tap on your skin and shape. So many of you, you're no longer even excited about the blessings that God said you're going to have. The fear is now taking over. So many voices in your head. If you place your tent like this, oh, you got to be careful. Oh, there is a witch that is working against you. Are you telling me that the witch is greater than God? I'm saying this because I know that I've got some, some of you that are connected right here. The way that you fear the enemy so much. The way that you're so shaken. If I'm to start talking about, oh, you know, 
the, the, I'm seeing I'm seeing a pit in the dreams. I'm seeing this. Everybody will be like, I, I have all your attention. You know how cunning the enemy is. When God comes to you and gives you a word, it's 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 it, 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 it's not easy for you to believe. But if I'm to come here and say, yeah, everybody go get seven candles. Everybody will be excited. When God sent Elisha to speak a net to the famine, Elisha went to walk in. And the man did not have anything in his hands. Because the man was equipped and empowered with the true word of God in the situation. Are you there? The man went, went to walk in with nothing in his hands. The only thing that Elisha had was just a word. And when the man, look, when, when the servant is looking at Elisha, I think he's like, what, what, what is this guy thinking is talking about? Why? Because they were thinking if a miracle was going to happen, maybe something majestic or something dramatic has to, had to happen. I know that some of you under the sound of my voice, you still don't believe because I'm coming and tell you, telling you about Jesus. I'm telling you today, God said we should pray and fast. No, you don't want to believe it. If I tell you go looking for salt, everybody will be running. But I want you to believe that we serve a God with only one word. The Bible said the Akida Bayata, the foundations of the earth were just created by just a word. If God was able to speak and say, let there be light, and light appeared, what makes you think you need something else in your hands? Power tap on your skin is she. What about, What makes you think you need? Uh, what makes you think you need another a, a whole lot of things in your hands, in your pockets? That's so many of you are missing God's word because you're looking for material things. When God speaks in your life, it doesn't even look like what you're expecting. When God comes to minister to you, the Bible say that Elijah, when Elijah was dealing with the prophets of Baal. They were dancing, they were moving, they were, they were shouting, doing all these crazy things. All that Elijah had to do was speak a word. Elijah said, Elijah said, if I be a man of God, let fire fall down from heaven. Men of you, the reason why you keep on losing some battles, you're using the same weapons of the enemy. You're getting information from the kingdom of darkness. Yaraba Sota Lamaya. You wonder why is it that things do not come true in your life? Your witch is holding a candle. You have a candle. Your enemy is using salt against you. You're holding salt on the other side. What separates you? What separates you from the true and the false? How about up on your skin is she? Am I communicating tonight? What is the thing that separates you from the voice of God and from the voice of the enemy? The boss said that the Elijah spoke a word and the message did not happen. So many of you have been in a place that you're intimidated by the enemy. You're so afraid of the enemy. The reason why some of you are afraid of the enemy, when the devil shows up in the night, he doesn't come empty handed. They come holding food. They come, they send snakes and animals. That's why you're afraid. Do you know the kind of God that you serve? Power tap on your skin is she. Do you know the kind of power that our God has? Elisha is sent the word and said, go tell them that by this time tomorrow, this is what is going to happen. I'm telling you there is a certain time in your life where all you got to do is wait on God and God makes things happen. I don't know what I'm speaking to right now, but I want you to understand that with the blessing that God has released upon the month of September, God said all you need to do is wake up. Huh? 
Because the Bible says, uh, and let's just say, but this time tomorrow, there's going to be a breakthrough. Uh, all you need to do is sleep uh, and wake up to a miracle. Uh, can I prophesy to somebody uh, over your month of September, everything you wait for, uh, everything you're asking for, uh, everything you prayed for, uh, I prophesy tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, as we wake up, uh, we're waking up to breakthroughs. Uh, as we wake up, uh, we're waking up to answers. Uh, as you wake up, uh, the doors are going to be open. Uh, can I prophesy tonight? Uh, I don't know how long you waited. Uh, I don't know how long you cried. Uh, but I hear the Lord say tonight, uh, in the month of September, the heavens are open. Uh, in the month of September, there is an abundance of rain. Uh, in the month of September, everything you prayed for, uh, everything you cried for, uh, everything you waited for, uh, God says receive it. In the name of Jesus, the people of Samaria did not have to do nothing but just wake up and receive the testimonies. I prophesy tonight as you prayed and fasted, the Lord has released the answer, the Lord releases the breakthrough, the Lord releases the testimony. And God began to speak to me and say the month of September is a month of tangible results. In other words, the month of September is a month of testimonies where God is bringing to order, where God brings to life everything He said is going to do in your life. Come on, some of you got to receive it. The very thing that you prayed for, the very thing that you cried for, uh, the very thing that you waited for, uh, I prophesy today in the name of Jesus. Uh, and September is starting, uh, it's a beginning uh, of a brand new season, uh, it's a beginning uh, of overflow and abundance. Uh, come on, receive it now. Helebe Sota, I want us to pray now. Lipa Kuda Basata, Lekedeba Kosata, I want us to pray tonight and say as I pray, any spoken word against my life, any blocking word against my children, any blocking word against September, as I pray tonight, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. As you pray this morning, let I command it to break in the name of Jesus. I command it to break. Let it be broken in the name of Jesus. If there is an altar, if there is a covenant, if there is a pillar, I command it to break. I command it to break. Let it be broken. Now in the name of Jesus, Yasatorobosaya, Manda Rabadosa, there is a wave of deliverance in the atmosphere now. There is a wave of deliverance. Let Sukarabadaya command it to break. I want somebody to pray now and say, Lord. If there is any servant uh, of the kingdom of darkness, uh, if there is any representative uh, of the kingdom of darkness uh, that is standing to block, uh, standing to break, as uh, I pray tonight, uh, let them be scattered. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you say, Lord, if there is anybody that has what is mine, if there is anybody that has my blessing, let there be a sound and a sound of chains breaking up by fire. Let there be fire. Right now, in the name of Jesus, there is a sound in the spirit of chains breaking. There is a sound in the spirit. Altars are shaking. Altars are breaking. Elika Radosa, let there be fire. Hear me in the Holy Ghost right now. I don't know where to say it. 
I don't know who said it. I don't know the powers uh, that you sin against you. Uh, La paya kena masaya, elita basaya, let there be fire. So many of you, the enemy appeared in the dreams. God bless you for the gifts. So many of you, the enemy appeared uh, in the form of friends. Uh, the enemy appeared uh, right at your workplace uh, and began to speak uh, against your destiny uh, and began to speak uh, cast words. Uh, any cast word uh, spoken against you, uh, any evil mark uh, plus against you, uh, anything they say, uh, anything that you ate up as a prince and nuts up from it out up and puff it out up and burp it out up in the name of Jesus up I command fire Right now in the name of Jesus Ikatoro bobo saya Ikandada basata Ekwato kayata Elebekosa From the crown of your head To the soles of your feet Let there be fire Let there be fire Let there be fire now in the name of Jesus, I come with the authority of the Holy Ghost tonight to speak your deliverance from cast words, from evil enchantments and evil altars. I command them to break by fire. Right now in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost search uh, and the Holy Ghost burn. Uh, Holy Ghost search uh, and Holy Ghost burn. Uh, Maya Rabasata, inside of your womb, uh, upon your hands, uh, all over your body, uh, let there be fire. Right now, come and summon, let me know what is happening. We come against every witchcraft. Uh, we come against every curse. Uh, we come against every idol. We come against Sikarabayata. Elika Rabadosa. Let there be fire. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Lekusa Libayata, Edena Kadosa, Zanda Nebebe Kendosa, Ipakwayadosa. Let there be fire. Anything blotted in your mind. What a baby sata. Some of you you're fighting against voices. You're fighting against words. You're fighting against spirits that appear in your dreams. Cough it out, form it out, and burp it out. Let there be fire. Now in the name of Jesus, Ikore Bebe Sota, Ella Kadosa, Zunda Kayadosa, let there be fire. Now in the name of Jesus, right now, the some of you that are here, there is fire in your womb. Yakatopo Sata, Ella Kenosa, everything that lives, everything that breathes, everything that walks, everything that grows inside of your belly, under your skin, I cast it out, I cast it out by fire. Now in the name of Jesus, let the fire increase, let the fire begin to burn, Holy Ghost search, and Holy Ghost burn, Holy Ghost search, and Holy Ghost burn, in the name of Jesus, let there be fire. Ya Rabasa, come and let me know what is happening. If you're coughing and if you're burping now, La Zuka Dosa, let me know what is happening now. And let the Becosata, Yanda Rabadosa, is a pain now. There is a person, Norina, every arrow that is assigned to block her, every arrow delaying your visa is a pain tonight. I break it up. I command it to break her. I command it to break her. Let the be fire right now in the name of Jesus there is a woman right now your tubes have been tied in the realm of the spirit you're failing to conceive there is fire all over your womb there is fire in the name of Jesus every cancer upon your womb the spirit of barrenness I command it to break I command it to break it is broken 
Esotole boyata. Apaya da basata. Mandere be kusata ba. Ila tebe sota. They are angels on assignment that are carrying somebody from a place of dryness to the land of abundance. They are angels tonight that are breaking yokes, breaking cycles, breaking covenants. Let there be fire. In the name of Jesus, I hear the Lord say that some of you, you're breaking the spirit of delay. Things are supposed to happen, but you're just waiting. I'll speak in the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay upon your feet catch fire. The yoke of delay and the chains of delay upon your feet catch fire. Let there be fire. Let there be fire. In the name of Jesus. Let there be fire. Right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, let me know what is happening. There is fire under your feet. The yoke of stagnation. The yoke of limitation. And demonic delay. I command it to break. I command it to break. In the name of Jesus. Here, baby, Sata, Yanda Sato, La Prakayata, Elite.